In January this year, a Three Peaks 2000 reconnaissance team summited Mount Kenya, despite an injury that forced the withdrawal of co-organizer Deshaun Dazel. But what is the real story behind Mount Kenya? It was a simple accident and it could happen anywhere if you're not if you're not careful enough. And I you know, I keep playing that scene over and over in my head and I, I sometimes come up with um, the conclusion that I should have been more careful, but that doesn't mean that Mount Kenya's got rocks flying from all over the place just waiting to drop on you. Um, it's simply a matter of just being um, careful with, you know, it's a risk being on a mountain. Uh, but Mount Kenya is absolutely gorgeous. If you're not into the technical climbing type of thing, then you can go up Point Lenano, which is just as fantastic to get up to. Uh, and it's, it's a, as much, I would think, uh, a challenge as, as getting to the top of the, of the technical peaks. So everybody else that went up the mountain was successful. And, um, you know, I was just the person that, that wasn't. And, and that happens on just about any mountain. In centuries past, ship's rigging was used to train sailors going to sea for the first time. This has inspired the concepts of the high ropes course, which is now employed in many different ways for human development. Up on the ropes, they first took on the individual challenge, but the really hard stuff had them all up in the air, leading each other a hand at the climax end of the course. You know, I was thinking all the time yesterday as we were doing the, the low ropes and the icebreakers and finally getting up 12 meters above the ground to do the high ropes, that if we had just headed off for the mountain and started the hike, at the end of the first day we would have seen a little bit of scenery, we would have spoken a little bit, we would have had our tents up, we would have gone to bed early, and if, there wouldn't have been that much of a growth experience, even for people who were going to the mountain for the first time. How long is it going to take us to the top? Here? From now, it's going to, maybe it's going to be three hours from here. From here, three up hours? Up to the top, yes. Okay, and are we doing well? Yes, we're doing okay. We're on target. We, we should be there before sunrise. Yes, before sunrise. Great stuff.
at the Fleur of Heights. Thanks. Let's turn to Jelly, and here I am, a complete man. This is where we would like people to be on the first day of the new millennium. Seeing further and more clearly into the future than ever. This is Kusvona Merva on top of Cathedral Peak in the Drakensberg. Hope to see you here on the first day of the year 2000. Yeah. 